Hi, this is the fitness prophet or fitness poet, whichever one you want to call it. I just want to do a review on a product that I used for just a little bit over eight weeks. And it's this by SNS, Serious Nutrition Solutions, X-Gels. Now, I've been reading about this supplement for quite some time, and I just wanted to use it. Like for It's been basically over a year I've been researching this looking on reviews and constantly going online. I finally bit the bullet at the end of last year. I bought two bottles worth and I decided to use it at the beginning. Well, I used it, started using it around the last week of December all the way till now, which is exactly eight weeks. Or they recommend you use it for. So I used two bottles. Now, what is my reviews on using this product? Well, I broke it down like this. So price. It actually ended up costing me $35.99 each bottle. In total, that's $71 USD. I live in Canada, so the conversion rate, it came up to approximately about $100, which is about $50 a bottle for me. It's kind of a little bit steep, you know, to be spending on just a supplement to work out. But I just wanted to test it out and see how it goes. So while on this product, my meal plan, I was eating a 50-30-20 meal plan, meaning... 50% carbs, I mean, sorry, 50% protein, 30% carbs, and 20% fat. Now, I was focusing on eating most of my carbs first thing in the morning, pre-workout, and then post-workout. But other meals after that, I try to focus on either fats, protein, and very little cardio as much as possible. During the duration of this, at times, this product, it did make me feel hungry. So at times I did have to splurge late at night, but I still tried my best to avoid carbs. Sometimes I could, sometimes I couldn't. I had no choice. I'd have to grab a beef burger or something with, with, with protein and also carbs in it. So my meal plan was slightly below maintenance because I was trying to see if I could just, you know, maintain either... My same weight, but lose as much fat as possible. So I was kind of on a slight cut. So that's my meal plan. For my workouts, I was trying to work out every body part twice a week. And the rep range was between 8 to 15 reps. 8, very heavy. 15, I guess moderately, moderately light. Not really light, but when I get to the 12 rep range, the last three is I'm really pushing it really hard. So that's the way my gym performance now. My gym performance, the pumps I received off this were very good. I would probably rate it as one of the best pumps I've received. I used to take uh, citrulline malate with um, agmatine. Is it Ag agmatine? Yeah. With agmatine. And taking those two products, I would get really good pumps. This basically was almost exactly the same pump. So... It's basically, for me, it was rated as one of the best pumps I've had while working out in the gym. I had that very veiny feel. I was starting to see veins and everything popping out while I'm working out. I'm like, whoa, this product is pretty good. So my max PR for my deadlifts, my squat, and my bench. I don't really do flat barbell bench press because I feel that it doesn't hit my chest muscles the way how I want it to. So I mostly use dumbbells when I'm doing flat bench. So before this product, I was lifting 85 pounds for about 12 to 13 reps. Using this product, I was able to use, at the end of it, I could do now 100 pounds for 12 reps. So I would basically consider that an increase. Squats, I'm one of the guys who just, I hate doing my leg muscles. But during the duration of this, I tried my best to do my leg, my leg muscles or my legs workouts once or twice a week so my max rep for my legs prior to this was 275 for three reps at the end of this i was able to do 335 squats for three reps so i was like wow deadlifts another exercise i hate doing mostly because i have i received a basically a torn bicep i had to get surgery on this so it's like I avoid doing deadlifts because I'm always so scared I'm going to tear this muscle again. So, But I will myself to continue consistently doing deadlifts every week. And my max rep went up from 275, which I've been doing for six reps. At the end of this, I was doing 365 
for two reps. So all my max PRs went up, which, you know, is very exciting. It helped me put on, I feel, more mass. My weight at the beginning of this was 203. I now today weigh 198 pounds. My waist went from being 38, which it was kind of big because I kind of was, towards the end of the year, was not eating too great. I was just picking out my weight. So my waist was 39. Today, it's 36. So I did lose some weight in my stomach area or some inches in my stomach area. So would I repeat this? And what is the value of this? Since I ordered it from the States, with shipping and everything, it cost me basically $135 in total. So that's like, you break it down about $65 a bottle. Kind of steep, but unfortunately we live in Canada. I can't get this in any of the supplement stores. So if I have to use it, I have to order it from the States. So when I repeat the cycle, I would do it again, but this is not something I would do three, four times a year. Max, I would do it twice. And I'll do it more than that if there is a special going on for 25 USD a bottle. I personally would stack up on four bottles. Four or even push it to maybe six bottles so I could actually repeat this again three times for the year. So after eight weeks, they say, you know, you should take a slight four-week break, which is what I'm doing. I really feel my muscles feel more thicker. They feel more denser. So to rate this product out of 10, I personally would give it an eight because I really feel it really did help me with my performance in the gym. My max PRs went up and at the end of it, I feel that I've gained some serious lean mass and I feel more muscular and I feel more stronger and my muscles feel thicker and harder. And that's basically what we're, we're getting these products to do. We're getting them so we can feel thicker and harder. I did stack this also with um, some pre-workout. And towards the last three weeks, I kind of bridged it with deep hole from Purist Labs and also Inhibit E from SNS. So during those three weeks, that's when I was really feeling really pumped, really jacked. And now I'm starting to do more cardio because I want to try and shed off some of the excess fat I have to try and go now from 199 to drop all the way down to about between 190, 195. Just to see how I look, just to see how much muscle mass I really put on. So if I do give this, you know, an eight, you know, five, three, and eight, and I would recommend anyone try this cycle, see how it works for you. But make sure your meal planning is good. Make sure you're consistently going to the gym and make sure you're getting sleep. So if you have those three in check, add this product, see how it goes for you. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Bye. Well, I'll probably just do a bicep pose. All right, peace out.